Hello, dear listeners. It's a bu- 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 bonus episode of People Talk. We're getting real political. It's part two. Segment two, you could say. Segment the second, even. Uh, we got we got Dumpster Dan here. He's running for mayor. And uh, he's going to tell everybody, each and every one of you, myself included, uh, what his platform is. Dan. Hello. This is Dumpster Dan. Live. And in your ear holes. Um, just want to uh, thank Weasel for the opportunity. And, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to everything the next couple weeks have in store for us. Um, yes, Theo, that is correct. I am uh, officially throwing my hat into the ring um, to be a mayoral candidate. And, um, yeah, it's just, you know, when... When the whole grassroots mayor thing started uh, way back when, uh, I really wanted to, you know, get involved in it then. But they're like, no, Dan, uh, you're a felon. You can't. Like, no. So that really bummed me out. But the silver lining in that is we had a kick-ass dude named Nico fucking win and, you know, really laid the foundation for everything that's, like, moving forward. And, um, I think I've kind of used this analogy before, but, uh, my platform, I mean, there's, there's definitely like bullet points and stuff, but the more I, uh, I think about it, it's more a, uh, uh, a living organism, you know, that's always like evolving because, you know, it's hard to, uh, think about what the future holds. And, uh, I think it's important to kind of be nimble in the sense that you can always, you know, act swiftly to when problems, you know, arise. So um, just kind of the main things, like, kind of on my radar at this point in time is, uh, you know, I'm a business owner. I, I own Lucy Motors. And so I'd like to, you know, just solidify the infrastructure for all business owners and uh, uh, employees throughout the city. Um, I know there's, it shouldn't be no surprise that I've had a, a lengthy history with the police department, but uh, be happy to inform everyone that I am on probation and I am, you know, working hard to, um, you know, try and set everything straight and I'm trying to be a good boy and all that. And I even got me a parole officer. So that's kind of cool. Who's your, um, who's your PO? Uh, Mr. Captain for Satan himself, Anthony Boriello. What a what? So I don't I don't know uh, I don't I don't know Boriello too too well. We, we've had a couple of conversations here and there, but what a, what's all this Captain for Satan business about? Real quick, sorry to go off topic. I I have no idea. I just see it on the uh, on the vibes all the time. But I mean, I don't even know what fucking Captain means. Like. Like obviously, I know who Satan is, but like, what's Captain? I is he like? I, well, so there's you know, Captain can mean a bunch of things, allegedly. Like, uh, uh, at, at one point, people would say that he would be like shooting for Satan, like he's like Satan's personal gunman, like you know, he's Captain people oh, for Satan, or damn. But then people started. Uh, saying Cap'n is in like, ah, uh, that's Cap. I'm, or, and I, I guess that means they're like, that's not true or they're joking. I don't really get it, but, uh, so maybe he's like telling jokes for Satan. Like, uh, it could be, it could be either way. Like he's the jester of the underworld or something. You could say that like, he's like the Joker and like, and he exists in the society that is hell. Man, that's deep. That's real deep. To be honest, I never really thought about it like too much, but me either till yeah. right now. But now that we're thinking about it, that's what I think. Yeah, um, yeah. But he's my he's my PO officer, and I just absolutely know he loves when uh, hashtag uh, Boreello Captain for Satan is trending. So uh, all the listeners out there, make sure you uh, do your part and get that shit trending again because. Uh, he'll be very pleased with me that um, I'm doing, you know, essentially God's work here. 
All right. Well, you, you, you heard it from the man himself. Uh, Dumpster Dan uh, is the candidate uh, with the blessing of our Lord and Savior. No, I didn't mean it. I, I didn't mean it like Dumpster, literally. This just in Weasel News. Dumpster Dan uh, goes for the religious vote. Uh, he's 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 courting the fundamentalist Christians uh, in our community. I mean, all religions and non-religions are acceptable. Amen. Exactly. I don't um, know why I replied to that with a specifically <laughs> Christian response. Uh, no, it's it's all right. I meant amen right. in a secular way. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a literal literal word, so it's all good. Um, no, but uh, back to like the uh, police portion of it. Like, I know I just kind of want to, you know, uh, work with the police in the sense of like creating positive reforms. Um, you know that all Lucidians can, um, you know, get behind because if you think about it, we're all in this together. And um, again, referencing the organism uh, reference, well. Yeah, that's what references are. You reference them. But uh, um, going back to that is those are kind of the two things that I'm really focusing on right now. But that's not to say that, you know, something may not jump up uh, to the forefront of everyone's mind. Like there may be, um, I don't know, the whole landscape of the city could change in in an instant. And then I think it's important for, um, you know, people in positions such as mayor to uh, be able to, you know, handle those kinds of situations uh, swiftly and um, without hesitation. So um, it's kind of the way I, I view why I'm doing this. So we've got, we've got some business reform on the table. We've got, we've got a little bit of police reform on the table. Yes. What about um what about lines of communication with the mayor and and the citizens? Do you have any plans for that? Yeah, I mean, uh, I know it's cliché as hell, but I mean, I would have a open door policy like uh I think I think a, a lot of people know me around the city and in that being somebody that's easy to talk to, like, uh, again, I may not have a filter or something, but I'm a good listener and, you know, I'm gonna, you know, speak the truth to you. It doesn't really matter. So I think that's important. And I feel like it's equally important for Lucidians to be able to, you know, just come up and be like, yo, Dan, like you thought about this, like, like, just because I'm, you know, in the proverbial position, I mean, it, I still view it as like a team effort. Like, I, I just don't want to, I don't want to be self-serving in the sense that I'm just going to like, like poop out ideas that's going to only benefit me. That doesn't make, that's not how it should work. Like, you know, the whole goal, in my opinion, is to make, to make the city better for everyone that's here, not just me. Noble, noble indeed. Well, this should be an interesting race. Uh, what is your? I di- I've got uh, one last question, and then I'll let you uh, wrap up any any points you want to get out there. Um, sure. What is your? What is your ideal? Um, what does your ideal mayor's office look like from a? from a personnel standpoint, I mean, the building's already there. You, you don't have any say in that, but that's not what I'm talking about. You mean like, a like actual, like support staff and stuff like that, or my interior decorating skills? Uh, are, are, are we looking, are we looking at another one man show or are you thinking about, uh, building a team or anything of that nature? No, I mean, I mean, right now, since this situation, you know, uh, we're just getting the ball rolling. I totally open to having collaborators and such. Uh, again, it's not it's not the dumpster Dan show. It's you know, I'm running for mayor to try and make the uh, the city. A, a, you know, it's a good city as it is, but you know, we can do our part to make it better. And for how uh, those that 
know me and especially the ones that go way back know how uh how vocal i can be at times and i just you know i want to put my money where my mouth is and i literally have because uh expungement ain't cheap bud i can i can assure you that and are you, are you comfortable uh, with with publicly stating how not cheap expungement is i'm actually curious you can tell me off yeah i mean prefer. No, I mean, I mean, it should be like public record knowledge anyways, right? Because it's all through like the courts and shit. So I don't care. You know, it cost me a quarter of a million dollars to, uh, you know, expunge my record. So I can try and be um, a good, uh, so I I can take the role on as mayor if elected. Oh my God. That's. Yeah. And it, it doesn't even guarantee nothing. It just means, you know, I'm, I'm, uh. You know, That's taking a... this seriously, and you know, I'm committed to uh, helping make positive change. That's a hundred packs of Pokemon cards. Man, it's a lot. God damn. Um, yeah, I would say that that's a pretty bold statement. That because um, if you if you go back on anything when you're on uh, when you're on probation like that, that all that money is just forfeit. Yeah. So if if I don't behave, then uh, not only do I not get to run for mayor, but I'm also out all that money, and that's the end. So, and I know I think I think I have literally, well, not literally, but I think I have kind of evolved as a person. I'm not the same Dan I was like a few months ago. You know, I would carry on a lot, and you know. I I still don't really have a filter and, you know, I won't really apologize for that because I think the truth is the most powerful thing we can use, but, um, it's, yeah, it's, it's exciting. Do you, uh, do you have any, do you have any final statements or would you say that about sums it up? No, that, that really sums it up. I mean, I'm just, you know, looking forward to the opportunity and, um looking forward to see what uh my opposition mr deacon has uh up his sleeve and then you know get on with the race well all right ladies and gentlemen uh you heard it from the man himself uh he's got a he's got a a a clear plan of action he's got he's got points that he wants to get across and he was willing to put his bank account on the line to do so uh that'll That'll do it. Uh, Have a good day. You too.